March 17th, the Shaki Court of Grave Crimes delivered verdict on 18 people charged in connection with Ismaili events. When the jury entered the courtroom, Real Movement leader Ilgar Mamadov did not stand up, saying there is no justice here. He sat and listened to the verdict. Musavat deputy chairman and Yeni Musavat newspaper columnist Tafik Yagoblu stood up for the first time during the whole course of the trial. I stand up to receive the judgment with honor. He said, holding the picture of Mehmet Amin Rasozada. All of the accused were declared guilty, receiving either prison or suspended sentences. Mehmet and Yagoblu specifically received seven years and five years, respectively. Among others, Haftar Agamaliev, Anar Hasanov, and Vasif Ibrahimov got eight years, Eshan Ismaili five and a half years, Eshan Gurbanov five years, Gember Agamaliev and Jafar Jafarov four and a half years and Shukram Mubaliyev, two and a half years in jail. Shakir Musafayev, Jehun Abbasov, Sakavat Samadov, Kael Sharanov, Rashid Mamadov, Dashkun Agaev, Aydin Jabarov and Mirkazim Abdullayev were released in the courtroom receiving suspended sentences. The court also decided to complain to the Collegium of Advocates about Ilgar Mamadov's lawyers Khalid Bagirv and Fuad Agaev. All of the defendants were convicted of organizing a riot and assault on the police. Some were also charged with plundering. Riots in Ismaili city on the 23rd and 24th of January 2013 were triggered by indecent behavior of the relatives of the local governor. 16 of the participants were detained. Mehmedov and Yakublu, who traveled to Ismaili to find out about the reasons of the protests, were also detained on the February 4th. Leading international organizations have repeatedly demanded Yakublus and Mehmedov's release. Amnesty International has declared them prisoners of conscience.